In this video, I'm going to share specifically what makes a great question, as well as where do you find those great questions. And then I'm going to share with you some examples of tried and true leadership questions for a panel discussion. So let's dive right in. So here's what makes a good question. First, it's tied to the topic. Second, it reflects the panelists' interests and maybe perspectives. Third, it represents the audience's interests and challenges. Fourth, the answer is not easily available. You can't find it on Google or YouTube. ChatGPT won't answer it for you. The panelists will, though. The fifth is that the question is concise and to the point. Nobody wants to hear a long, blathering question. They want to hear the answer from the panelists, so make sure that they're concise and to the point. Lastly, the question will elicit insights and takeaways on behalf of the audience. So now that we know what makes a good question, there are probably some starting conditions that you wanna think about as you're trying to put together your questions. The first is, what are the objectives of the panel? Usually you ask the panel organizer, what are the objectives? What are the, the outcomes that you're looking for? At the end of the day, when, we, when everybody's walking out of the room, what do you want them to be saying? What do you want them to be doing as a result of that panel? In my experience, there's a couple of objectives that meeting organizers will come up with. So if they look at you like deer in the headlights, you can maybe suggest some of these. One is to gain insight into the industry or the organization. Another might be to inspire high potential leaders in the organization. Another might be to learn lessons from experienced leaders. Another one might be provide access or visibility to these leaders that the audience members don't really get to see very much. Keep these objectives in mind as you're crafting your questions. As you're crafting your questions, who are the panelists? You wanna make sure that they're appropriate for the panelists that you're directing them to. You do not need to ask the same question to all the panelists. You might ask a specific question to one panelist because of their experience, their background, their leadership journey. As you're crafting your questions, think about who is in the audience. Are they high potentials on the fast track to become leaders? You'll ask one set of questions. If they are brand new employees to the company, you would ask another set of questions. If they're members of an industry association, you would ask a different set of questions. Or maybe they're just members of a broader community, completely different set of questions. But ultimately, you have to ask yourself, what does the audience want to know? Put yourself in their shoes. Maybe you um, look at some social media uh, threads. Maybe you actually use social media to ask them what is topical. Or maybe the organization sends out an email on your behalf to ask what are the topical questions that you want to ask. So in my perspective, there's there's a intersection of three, Venn di of three circles. So it creates a Venn diagram where the meeting organizer probably has some ideas about what they want the audience to learn, think, feel, or do. The the panelists probably have some ideas, so you want to make sure that you tap into the panelists. And the audience probably has some ideas about what they are interested in finding out. So it's that sweet spot that you're looking for. So when you're thinking about that sweet spot, that's where you go get potential questions. I mean, you probably have some in your back pocket, and I'm going to give you some. Um, so you want to ask your meeting organizer, if you're the panel moderator, the panel moderator probably has some ideas, the audience has some ideas, and the panelist has some ideas. So you want to collect all of these, all of these, and then you're going to put them, kind of rack and stack them. Uh, I have a great uh, white paper, free white paper downloadable on how to create great questions. So you might want to consider downloading that. Before I get into sharing some very specific questions, I wonder if you would just take a moment to uh, either make a comment, uh, maybe a question that you like to ask in a leadership panel. Um, and while you're there, maybe uh, hit that like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel. I'd appreciate it. 
So now I'm going to go through a list of specific questions that I like to ask during a panel discussion. Now, I'm going to go through a lot, but I don't use them all. I pick and choose depending on the audience, depending on the panelists, depending on the industry, the company, the association, etc. You get the idea? So I'm going to go through this list. And as I go through this list, I want you to think about the flow because once you develop your list, you're going to want to put them in some kind of flow. I like to put them in a um, kind of like, here's the strategic reason why we're talking about it. Then what are the benefits or the consequences if we're not um, fostering leadership uh, career pathways, for example. And then maybe we get into some very specific applications. And then I always like to end with what the takeaways are. So think about that kind of flow as you're putting your questions together. So let's talk strategic level questions. What is your definition of leadership and how is it formed and how is it transformed over the years? Ooh, that's juicy. Describe your leadership style and how you lead others. What would you classify as the most defining leadership behavior? What was your most satisfying leadership role and why? What do you look for in a leadership role? How do you assess that it's right for you? Oh, some of these are so good. What are some reasons you pursued leadership roles? What are the most important decisions you make as a leader? What makes a great leader? Who was or is your role model and or your leadership mentor? These are all strategic questions. Now let's get into the benefits or the consequences. So what benefits have you received from your leadership experience? Did you aspire to this leadership position? What was your path to get there? Have you been in a leadership position where the experience was very different than you anticipated? What did you learn? Were there unexpected benefits or unintended consequences? What's been one of your biggest joys as a leader? What's been one of your biggest challenges as a leader? What's the biggest challenge facing leaders today? What's the biggest lessons you've learned? What would you want to do over and why? What's the biggest risk you took and why? What's the most dangerous behavior traits that you've seen derail leaders' careers? Ooh, that's a juicy one. So once you've talked about the strategic reasons why you want to be a leader in an organization and maybe the benefits and consequences, you might want to think about moving into the application. These are leadership questions that beg for specifics. So you're going into a little bit more detail here. How can organizations balance the tactical versus strategic imperatives? How do you balance planning for the future and being present for your employees? How do you keep your team on track with the mission, the vision, and values of the organization? How do you inspire others while keeping yourself inspired about the organization's mission? At what stage in leadership should you start thinking about succession planning? What skills do you use most often in your leadership role? How have you grown those skills? What leadership skills are you continuing to work on? What are the most important qualities you look for in a future employee and why? What do you consider before promoting an employee into management? What are the most effective ways you incentivize your employees? How do you foster a positive work environment? How do you encourage creativity among your team members? How do you encourage honest, open employee dialogue? How do traits like empathy and vulnerability play a role in your leadership? What does work-life balance mean to you? How do you motivate employees to do their best to sustain business and at the same time have compassion for their peers in times of uncertainty? How do you make room for continued learning? Finally, you want to make sure that you find time to talk about takeaways for the audience. This is the ending piece. So you've talked about strategy, you've talked about benefits, consequences, you've, you've talked about more nitty gritty details. You always want to make sure that you land with specific questions about takeaway for the audience. So here's an idea. What resources do you suggest for new leaders, whether it's a book or a podcast or an app or something? What are the best ways that leaders can support other leaders or emerging leaders? What's the one thing you wish someone told you during your career journey? Or what strategies are most effective for prioritizing myriad tasks? What's something you wish someone told you early on in your career journey? Or What's the one piece of advice you have for those in our audience currently in leadership roles or preparing to be a leader? These are all examples of takeaways. So I realized that there were a lot of questions there and you're probably scratching your head going, hmm, 
that you went way too quick, Kristen. Well, you know what? If you just go to my uh, website, www.powerfulpanels.com and type in leadership panel questions, you will find the blog that will have all of these questions already printed out for you.